Hi everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Ape Escape 3. Last time, we captured Monkey Yellow. Oh, so disturbing. Anyway, this episode, we're going to go off to the next set of areas, starting with Mount Amazing. This is actually where we're going to get our final gadget for the game. Okay. Here's another gadget. I'm going to warp over to you. It's a sky flyer. Use it to soar high up into the sky. Learn how to fly like an eagle in the training room. Nope, don't need to go to the training room. Skyflyer controls the exact same as it did in the last one. So, we gotta capture 13 little monkeys. Uh, I remember hating this stage. I remember a lot of Aperscape fans actually saying that they did not like this stage, and I have to agree with them. The music's nice, though. Anyway, since the Sky Flyer is there, we've pretty much got all seven gadgets, because, as I said, the Magic Punch is not in this game at all. Uh, don't worry, we're gonna... we have a replacement for it. Anyway, there is actually a difference in the Sky Flyer for K and Yumi. For K, as you can see, it's just the regular Sky Flyer that everyone else had in the other Apescape games. For Yumi, it's actually pink. Monkey! Take that, Kichi. Okay, I was about... I was worried I was actually gonna die. I'm a glut. It's good I fell right here. So, start filming. Forgot to tie a lifeline. Yeah, that's very dangerous. Right. So, there we go. Oh boy, that's not good though. Uh, I almost would have screwed up and ended up lo losing another one. Okay, way to commit suicide. Suicide for the win. Alright, so let's grab the net. Where is. Where is he actually? Let me actually check where is he? Did I, did I pass him? Because we have to... He has to be around here somewhere. Huh. Oh well. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes. I'm going to try and get these out in a much faster frequency, really. Since I want to finish up Ape Escape 3 as soon as I can. I want to finish it before the end of the year, before finals, before everything else begins. Uh, we need the RC car right here, because there's a monkey inside. So... And... Nope. Nope. There we go. Chomon! Where the heck is that monkey, though? That I caught on the camera. Has to be around here somewhere. Uh-oh. I hit these teleborgs. Actually want to back up? Yes, I can. Okay, it's just like how. Well, I would assume the big mission seems how they're running the same engine. All right, and I think it might be. Oh, whoa! I'm actually surprised that that happened. We're actually gonna get to one of my more favorite stages really soon. I believe in this set of stages we might get it. All right, there you are. Nope, oh, not far enough. So let's go like this and into the net. Take that, Kiki, though. All right, so we need ten more. Going on up. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. I actually have a lot of gotcha coins, because I went uh, after I defeated Monkey Blue, and I just went to the bookstore. I've been cleaning out the bookstore as I go on, so then I can just get all of those. Nothing's been showing up in the hobby shop. I don't know why, because I should be getting, like, the concept art and everything. Should be getting... I, I should at least be able to buy concept art I don't, I, or enemy photos. They're not showing up. Nothing's really showing up there, actually. So, oh well. Right. And now comes to the puzzle part of this place that I do not like. Oh Mainly because I hate these teleborgs that shoot at you. Luckily, you can hit the bullet back. Ow. Except it'd be kind of good if I could actually hit it back. It's like playing tennis. Only I don't have a milk bottle. And I'm not playing against Ganondorf. Ugh. Right, there's a monkey at the end right here. Oh, God. Invincibility frames. Oh, God! No! Bad. Die. Okay, I wasn't expecting the green pan monkey to have actually started launching missiles at me. Uh, we're getting close to the annoying monkeys to catch, though. Believe me. Oh, speaking of annoying monkeys, monkey saucers make their return, and as you can see, they are a lot different. They're a lot easier to take care of now. They have love beams, though, so the love beam returns. Right. There we go. Ow. 
Uh, let's grab all the gotcha coins and everything. And monkey! Take that, Tommy. All right. We're actually getting to the annoying part of this that I... I swear I think this is sort of like a Kid Icarus sort of uh, thing, but... I can't... I don't know if I it is for sure or not. Mainly because I've never played a Kid Icarus game. I played Upri... Well, no, I played Uprising for a bit, but I, I just not comfortable with it. I have an original three, yes. In you go. Nope. Ow. You can't catch the teleboards, okay? Ow! Stop throwing bombs! Why does it look like the teleport's going after him? Poor bulky ton. So scared. Go, go away! Stop going after me. Alright, so. Time to push. 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 There we go. That's one. And push. Push, push, push. So now we're going up to the Star Haven. I wonder how many people are actually going to re recognize which re what reference that is actually going to. I kind of hope a lot of people do. So let's go up inside here and to space. This place. Uh, is annoying. And actually, this right here actually sounds like a remix of the Dark Room. You're gonna hate these angel monkeys. Ugh, you're gonna hate these angel monkeys. I think this actually is a remix of, um, the song. Oh, God. How did I not die there? That's a I think this is actually a remix of the Dark Ruins from Apescape 1, because that's what it sounds like. It was in this game, uh, Pumped and Primed, and a uh, big mission that a lot of uh, classic Apex, Ape Escape songs were remixed, uh, and they actually sound pretty good. All right, let's go up this way. I love having the Sky Flyer. It, I just love having it for insurance, and then I don't have to use the Miracle Ninja form. So this cuts down on me having to use Miracle Ninja. It's it's gonna be coming back, believe me. Out of all the forms, like I said, Miracle Ninja is probably the one that comes back the most because of the tight ropes. Okay, there we go. Uh, there should be some monkeys on the outside around here, I believe. This is a big place. I always found that this place, though, reminded me of something from Kid Icarus Uprising. That's what it just seemed like. Me. Okay, there's one right there, so I'll go after you. Unaware from the sky, a predator comes with a net into my net. Take that, Sakano. I'll take your treasure, too. Because I'm evil. Right, so let's go up this way, and I was actually wrong earlier. I believe we're, we might actually get another, well, we're going to get another form for this one, because you get a form before you fight each of the chicken five. These monkeys, the flying ones, they're so annoying. I hate catching the flying monkeys. Oh, I hate catching these monkeys. So I'm going to have Nope. Uh, I hate these monkeys so much. I might actually have to use a form in order to catch. Wait, nope. There we go. Uh, there we go. There should be another one that's flying around if I'm remembering correctly. Well, there he is. He's a little prick. Oh, and there we go. All right. So that takes care of this place, which name I forget. And that little floating platform right there, I don't know why I'm getting reminded of Sky Sanctuary with the Death Egg launching. Ex Monkey Expedition sets off, okay. Looking pretty good. Indeed. I'm gonna have to backtrack so much in this game. Right, so let's go on to the next stage, shall we? Let's go out with the monkeys, Toy Town. Toy Town is probably one of my favorite stages because I just love the concept. It's so much fun. It's so cartoony and so happy and bubbly, I guess. As you can see, we only have to capture 12 monkeys out of 19. Normally, we have to capture, like, enough to where we only have, like, two or three left. But this place is fun. I just love the concept of it. I don't like the music as much as, say, Wintersville. I also don't like getting slow. Like this, that was bad. That was actually very bad to slow down. This... But I'm not. I'm actually not surprised. This is one of the biggest stages, I believe, in the game. 
the biggest one being the final stage. Uh, is there anything behind here? Because sometimes uh, the stage is too Nope. Alright. The music for here, I guess, is okay, but I still prefer uh, Winter's Veil. Oh, there's a blue thing. And there we go. Pal Uki. So that takes care of that. As you can see, it's sort of like how Spectreland is set up in that we have different areas to which we can go to. And then we have something based around it. So I guess they can, I can consider this like a spiritual security of Spectreland. Not good, mind you, because nothing's going to be as good as Spectreland because that had Spectre's Castle. Which still is my favorite, uh, no, second favorite, uh, final area stage in the game for when it comes to music. Music, it's probably my second favorite. I'm gonna go to the robot one first, because I like, uh, using the robot. Also because it's like Legos everywhere, and I love Legos. Woo! Robots! Weird, awkward controls with robot! And... Punch! Nope, don't punch. You... Alright, and... Punch. We should have a robot coming up that we have to go. So, mech battle... Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. Ugh. I do have to admit that controls for the mech can be kind of disorienting at times. It bounce. Ah! There we go. Just use the boost power to get over this. And boost to win! Right. There we go. Just got to destroy this thing. There we go. That takes care of that jump out of here and get this monkey with all the slowdown so many gotcha coins I'm gonna be so rich and monkey Cocho. Cocho. there we go so we got some more monkeys to do and that takes care of this little area like I said it's not it's like Spectre Land in that you have multiple areas to go to but it's kind of not like Spectre Land in that you don't really have as much to do and you also don't have to fight a clown boss like right, right on the ball. So that's already a plus, actually. You don't have to deal with the circus. Alright, now the camera should actually be inside this area. This camera can be kind of a pain because there's, like, five monkeys in this room. It's kind of a pain to get sometimes. As you can see, they're all right over there. Oh, never mind. It's only four monkeys. So... Let's go right here, and... I love how the one's in just the fetal position. He's like, why am I on TV? Right. So, there we go. That takes care of that. So, let's go after these. So... Oh, this is the annoying part because I don't think you can destroy this. Here you can. Okay, never mind. Monkey! Von Verna. Boom! Von Mota. They went on the other side. I think they went inside here. They did. There we go. Bon Papa and Bon Mama. There we go. This stage can go pretty fast because of those monkeys, actually. Uh, there's actually one more monkey here, too, I believe, on the roof if we hit this. And it's the daytime. And there should be platforming, I believe. Could be wrong. I could have sworn that there was other things around Because I can hear a monkey. Oh, let's actually... No, not this one. Let's actually, uh... Yeah, there is one. Okay, it's up there. Right. And yeah, platforming like I thought. That's right. So you have to go on the clouds. All right, I was right. Looks like that was one of the backup ones. Right, go up this way. Up here. And this way. I always find that I saved the Western Land area for last for some odd reason. I don't think I'll do that this time. Rainbow Road. And... Oh. No! No! Uh, there we go! Yeah. Right, let's grab the gotcha coins, because you could always use gotcha coins. And switch, and we should go on down. So, let's go back outside. And we should... Uh, where should we go now? Uh, how many monkeys are in there? I'm gonna go to the Western Land. I don't go to the Western Land that much, like, in my actual playthrough for this on my first time. So, let's go to the Western Land. 
Also because, I don't know, it might be fun. Okay, ninja teleborgs. Can I climb this, please? I can't climb this, can I? Nope. Dang it, gotta use Miracle Ninja. Uh, it already returns, come on. Way to go, me. Okay, uh, let's try that again without failure this time. There we go. Whoa! How did that happen? Now I remember why I don't come to this area first. I don't want to die. All right, there we go. Let's go on right here. And... On to here. I just use this so that I can balance myself. All right, and... Time for... Parkour, parkour! So there's a hidden treasure over here. Mm, I like treasure. Treasure. Could have sworn this was a western land, though. There we go. Master Lofi. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. Uh, let's... Nope, nope, you get all the... There we go. Okay, here's where it goes to the western land. I was right. Oh, this part. I remember this. I remember this, actually. Uh, there's gonna be some monkeys that actually come out inside here. Uh, let's actually go through all this. Western land meets ninjas. Most broken form in the game. So broken. So broken. That's why I'm using it. Monkey vs. Ninja! And Ninja wins. Yeah, it was all just a perspective like this. That's all this was. I have to admit, that's actually kind of clever. Right, so there's cookies up here, and... Looks like... No, oh, okay, this just leads us back into here. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So, let's go right here. As you can see, the camera angle doesn't change back. And we're back out here, so let's get out of the ninja form. Don't want a ninja walking around if child's amusement park, which, for some reason, is populated with monkeys and no humans at all. Then again, all the humans got us in trouble. I heard a monkey. I hear a monkey. Where is it? Oh, it's in the maze. Huh. How did I miss this monkey? For long. I see you. Hi, monkey! Over here. I can't see because of the maze. Oh, there you are. So, nope. 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 There we go. So, only one left. Uh, I guess let's go over this way. I can't tell how long I've actually been recording for, mainly because I've actually been um, recording this in one sitting. Oh, this area. I remember this area. There's a monkey right there, as you can see. Uh, I think there's also... Uh, I gotta just Oh well. This is actually a lot of fun to drive through, so... This is gonna be fun. So, let's use the RC car. This is probably the most intuitive... One of the most intuitive RC car sections in the game. If I'm remembering correctly, there's gonna be another one in the game later. Right, so let's... Here. And drive to safety. Oh wow, I almost Oh Let's get rid of the teleports before I get myself killed while trying to do this, because it takes a while. Right, there we go. Let's get that. And Is that a clock? Because it's starting the ticking's annoying me. Right, and this way we go. And right here. Don't want to fall off like I'm this close. Right, and looks like I got two go right up here, and go. So let's do this. Ta-da! And wait, wait, wait. Monkeys can wait. Gotcha coins come first. 
All right, where are you? So, monkey! Wasn't even aware that I was there. All right, so that takes care of Toy Town. Toy Town is actually, like I said, I like the design of it. It just reminds me a lot of Spectreland. I, I want to say it's one of my favorite levels in the game, to be quite honest. So let's go out with the monkeys. You really got quite a workout there. Indeed. So that takes care of that. Two stages down. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359, and I'll see you guys next time.